So we have electricity handled. We have this partially handled. Let's finish this up. So we're finally over here again. We're going to clean up the walls here and then we'll put down our smelting system and then figure out some sort of automation that we can get going for our other stuff. Even if it's just like one or two buildings, it'll be better than what we have now. Um, we, we do have these small things, but it's very unorganized and I, I would like to fix that. We're definitely going to have to mine this out though, because we're, <laughs> this room has not been as good as I thought it would be for us. I thought we would get a lot more out of the room that we have here, but it's not the case. All right, so I'm going to fix up our walls here. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to transform this into a smelting area for our copper and our iron. Um, I plan on doing something very similar to this. We can't really afford to have a double-sided smelting. I don't have the room for it. We could make the room, but <laughs> honestly, I really don't want to do more mining. Because we're still going to have to mine this out too. It's just, it's just a lot. Um, so we're going to do something like this, and then, you know, if we need more, we can always double this up somewhere else. Um, not the most efficient way to do things, but it's it's one way to do things, and that is good enough for me. So we're going to... Uh, let's, let's get this going. One thing I want to make sure that we try to do is leave some room for belts to come from here. Um, probably the best way that we're going to do it is we're actually going to bring the belt either from the top and then down or from down and then around like that. Um, I think our best bet is going to be up and around and then down because we're going to be slowly moving this mine up to grab all this iron and the copper that's over here. So it'll, it'll merge together pretty nicely, I think. And then after that, we'll probably mine down to get more. So let's get started. I thought I made more furnaces. I did. I just forgot to put them down here. So let's make sure that we're making something. make some blue science. And then in the meantime, we can make turrets. <laughs> oh boy, look how fast that's going. We're doing this for the EXP, seeing how much this is. This is a low level research. I wanted to see how much it's probably like 1K, 40. Oh no. Okay, never mind. Completely not worth it. We're going to need to do this to get the rails, so I'll just start that now. While we get our blue science up and running. Trying to get some inventory space. I'm going to put all these barrels away. 
We haven't had use of them yet, but I expect that maybe eventually we might use them. I mean, we're actually full on oil up here, but who knows? I, I have it all set up. Be a shame if I never used it. Also, put this away. Let's put all of our oil stuff in this chest here, and hopefully we'll remember that it's here. And any... no. We'll put the train stuff by our engines, which are actually right here, but... Okay, well, whatever. Okay, let's get started. So I think I'd like to do it right about here. I need to figure out where I want it in the square here. And so if this is our mock setup, we'd output here. We would input from here, and we'll just move the belts like we did over here. Or the walls, I mean. And that should be fine. Alternatively, I could output on the outside and input from the middle. Would that give you that be better? I don't think so. I think this is the better method here. And we'll just mirror it. So it'll be like this. Um, I mean, technically we could have it so these two could be together, and then we put the furnaces right here, and then move the walls around a little bit, but I think that's too much hassle. If we want to make more space, we can just mine more. Although I don't want to do it, it is a very viable thing to do. Actually, we actually ran out of iron. So that's that. Let's move these up. I don't need to put both of these walls, I think, but I am going to do it just for safety. That's a little dark, but we'll, we'll add a light in a second. Man, these take a long time to make. <laughs> Let's see. Good work, guys. We have a basic train and railing uh, tutorials up and running. We can finally get look at those for how well that's going to help us. Okay, 
So we have everything for this, it looks like. We just need the... Uh, just kidding. We just need this. <laughs> we'll do that later. What else do we need for yellow? Man, is that expensive. Let's see. Is there anything else that we could use? Advanced oil processing is probably my number one right now. Um, I do want to get these, but they're very expensive. All these are pretty expensive. Uh, they won't be a soon once we get our automation down. It's going to be awesome, probably. I sure hope so. But I get started on this. Um, we're not going to be able to finish it, but we'll start it. Okay, so let's get our. Belts underway here. Then how did we do this? We had this very interesting setup. I'm trying to think of how we could do this better. Uh, the one chest method of a buffer. It works, and for this amount of um, melting, I think that's probably our best bet. But is there a better way to do it? Not really thinking of one other than just putting more chest as a buffer. Which, you know, it wouldn't be too hard. We'll just put them where these belts are. So I guess uh, we're just going to do that. So I think what I want to do is I'm actually going to have because uh, I'm still going to need steel and stone, stone bricks. So I'll probably need to put another set of smelting right here just for those. At least stone, maybe. Or I could just do all that manually. I'll probably do it manually for now. As much as it irks me. Do that. Back filter. This is going to be copper. This will be iron. Scratch, scratch that. Doesn't really matter, but I think this is. I think it's better somehow. I'm sure of it. And then from there, we'll just. Catch this for now, and we'll. Fix it in a little bit. We need more inserters. We're gonna need more than that as well. Pick up more. Oh, we have plenty. Um, go. That. We're actually at a green science too. Oh boy. <laughs> that one quick. Okay. Let's make good many of these. And then we'll start queuing up more on green. We have the belts. 
good enough. That is going to cannibalize a lot of our, our inserters. Actually, no, it shouldn't, because they're all fast inserters. about the coal <laughs> what do we do about coal manually feed it for now <laughs> for me. Let's go grab some more belts. Alright. So from there, what I want to do is... To wherever we want to bring them. Now I'm going to just kind of put them into chests because that's how we do things around here. If we don't know what to do with them, we just put them into chests. Alright. So, coal. What do I do with that? Definitely need to do something like this. I need to move this back a little bit. The more steel on us. Always, always more things. Make, let's make the full stack for steel. That was not as many chests as I was hoping it would be, but that's fine, I guess. setup but we'll move it up a little bit here is why are there less filters on sack inserters than uh than normal interesting can't even use a blacklist that sucks um that means there's gonna be just stone in here that i won't be able to get rid of so i filter it early Very, very convoluted, but it's gonna work. Gonna like it. <laughs> so there we go. We got our we got our coal ready.
Perfect. Uh, yeah. Put the chest down for the buffer. I think we did it. Now we actually just need to actually mine it, but we'll be fine. Let's transfer everything we've already mined now. Hey, look at that. We got some chests back. It's nice. And we got a lot of coal. All right. So I guess that means that we can actually clear this up a little bit. More coal. Nice. I like it. Let's put excess ores up here. Let's clean this up. Got some space. I'm excited. What are we going to do with all this area? No idea. Scared me for a second. I'm like, where did all of our walls go? But we, we put our inventory up, so that makes sense. Oh yeah, completely forgot about the loaders. We don't need to use this at all, actually. It looks like we're limited based on the speed of our second sorter, unfortunately. And I still can't set a filter on the loaders. Uh, I don't know. I mean, this is as fast as it's going to go. We can't make it faster unless we add another another source of ore. So we get seven furnaces out of it. I guess it's a, that's acceptable. We're gonna have to live with it for now, or unless I figure out something else that we can do with this. In the meantime, as long as it's working, right? That's all I ask for. I'm trying to be careful not to pick up the the walls.
Is there anything that only needs a red science? I don't see it. So I guess we're we're going off science for a little bit. Just gonna clean this whole area up and figure out what we want to do with all the our things. Stop all, stop all this. So, but a couple chests down here with all the things that we've accumulated over our playthrough here. I think it is necessary for us to restart. Now we could leave all this stuff here and just work with it as is, but I think it's in our best interest to just figure out what's going on and make it better, right? Instead of trying to add on to something that kind of works, but isn't exactly there. All right, so that's everything. It's here for ore. All right, let's pick up our inventory. Wherever we put it. All done. Now, what do we do? We need to increase our mining. We do have excess ore at the moment, but you can see that we're running through it actually pretty quickly, which is actually amazing. Big fan, by the way. And so we'll just increase all of this. Let's fix up all of the the walls here. Oh, okay. It's like what did I pick up that could possibly get rid of all of our electricity? Looks like we just ran out of power. I lasted for a fairly long time, so that was nice. Because we still haven't actually attached the hole here yet. Although it looks like there's a fair amount. Nope, just kidding. I was bamboozled. Still, still a couple just worth, so it's not bad. Fill this to the brim so we don't have to worry about it for a while. So, so much stuff. <laughs> so many, so many things that need tweaking. I'm not entirely sure how to accomplish it yet, but man, oh man, do we have a lot of stone now? That's awesome. What are we going to do with it? No idea, but having it is a nice bounty. Okay, 
That's cleared out. Iron is pretty good. We have some coal set up, so that's all good. All right. It's going strong. Yeah, these are going to run out based on what I'm seeing here. Let's speed this up. I'll just leave that there. There's nothing to mine for right now. All right. So that's all good and dandy. Let's put down some miners and then we'll snake our way through. I do want to do this, but we, we can't because we wouldn't have anywhere to put our belt because we'll need to leave those there. This, however, is more acceptable. This is still getting the majority of the things mined. Um, because again, we're looking at the huge square, not the just the sprite. I think this is actually pretty good. Did I want to bring this up or do I want to bring it down? I guess we want to bring it down, huh? Burst it. should be good on copper and we just need to add all of our iron so there is a lot more iron to the north uh, but I just want to mine this out while we're here. Hi. I'll stand in the goo. It might last a little bit longer. And again, I do know that the this vein goes further on. Hey, you still alive. I know this vein goes further on, so if I mine more, I would find more iron. But I just want to mine the iron that we currently see. So I'm just going to do a little bit of that. And there we go. And it looks like we're just mining from this patch, really. 
So if I move this around, we get... Oh, no, just kidding. I guess there's ore underneath here. I'll still mine it out though, why not? Oh no it is. I was looking at the wrong numbers or something? I don't know. Either way, we got more mining done here. Perfect. Okay, looks good to me. Now let's try and mine this and add it to here somehow. See, this is the issue I was running. I was thinking about. Um, we have so much coming in, but the majority of it is actually copper. Which leads to the problem where if this gets full, and it's only copper and coal or whatever, then the iron is has nowhere to go. Problem for us. Is there any way we can fix that? We can add a second loader here. And then <laughs> do, do something about it. But I, I'm not really seeing it at the moment. Oh well. Let's just get our miners out and then we'll we'll deal with it later. So we have one, two, three, four, five, seven iron mining, and then we have uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Not exactly the ratio I want. Kind of actually want the opposite. Iron's a lot more precious to us at the moment. So what I should do is I'm actually going to reroute our belt here so we can get more iron mining in. A little bit of this. We'll just pick this up. <laughs> I was going to reverse it just so it could go on the belt, but that is unnecessary. Alright, so now we have all this iron to mine as well, so let's do that. Let's fix up these walls that I kind of screwed up. Let's do a stable save before I... <laughs> completely ruin this whole thing. Miners. Got lucky there. Gonna haphazardly put things right now and fix it once we're done placing our miners.
This is actually a not bad of a setup. Have to replace one or two of these with uh, power bowls, and we're good to go. Certainly don't need all of these walls, but we have them. Let's use them. I think everything is good here. Pretty pleased with how this looks. The only thing I wish we could do, I haven't tried it out yet, but can you get, can you load out of chests? That doesn't make sense because they're loaders and not extractors, but I would dearly like to know if we can or not. That is not the case. All right. Um, oh, you can do it. Really? Doesn't seem like it. This right? Well, doesn't seem like it. Aim at the chest like a loader and then rotate it. Strangely, it looks like these actually work better as extractors than they do loaders. Because the loaders are the ones that I have to do that whole weird reversing business. Okay, well, if we can do that, uh, that changes things a lot, actually. How I'm going to use that knowledge, I'm not entirely sure yet. But I know I can use that to our advantage somehow. Well, I mean, they're loaders, right? So they should they should work to load versus get rid of. But I mean, whatever. Okay, hang on. I need I need to think how I want to set this up because if we can load out of chests and load into chests and uh, use filters. We don't actually have to use our, um, these things, <laughs> the inserters, and we could actually get a lot more onto a belt. So that'd be very beneficial for us. So let's, let's try that with just the iron right now. Man, that's so much easier than <laughs> the other one. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. We're only getting half of this done though. Let's see if we can fix that. Uh I'm going to have to do a setup like we do on our other maps but the problem with that is that the way that I would I do those are I need to um, put two uh, two splitters back to back and then we'll have two setups but the problem is we're only using one belt at a time so is there a way I can forego that and 
but still get the benefit of using both sides of the belt at once. Because this isn't as fast as it could be. I could do something convoluted like do the two-sided thing and then bring one side all the way around and wrap it this way. That would still be faster than this, but I don't know if I want to do that or not. I mean, this technically works just fine. But it's, it's half the speed. But right now it looks like it doesn't really matter. Alright, so I guess we're just going to do that for now. Cool, thank you for telling me that I can do it this way. This definitely helps out. Uh, what goes on that side? How did we do this? There you go. Perfect. So now that all of these are saturated, that's very nice. Loaders are pretty interesting. Never really ever had the chance to use these, but. Definitely do help here. Although it doesn't look like you can do this, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. I'm sure I could set up loaders to work properly through that, but I'd rather just have the stack inserters do it for me. Okay, so with this, I can actually add way more uh, furnaces, but I'll do that later. We really need, we have other things to work on right now, and just getting the stock of iron plates and copper plates are good enough for me. I mean, this is this is fine. It's fine if it backs up. Um, only thing I'm concerned about is if it backs up without any iron. But it should be fine. There's constantly iron coming through, so there should always at least be a stack. We'll check on this later. But we've definitely massively increased our output of steel and iron, so I'm pretty happy about that. Let's get this mined out and we'll add, we'll make this our science area, I guess. Uh, we'll make our red science and our green science again. Since we haven't actually been doing anything. We haven't actually been making anything either. Oh, geez. Been falling behind on this. Let's go get our resources here stack up on the green science while we're doing all this. Good enough. All right. Roboport. I don't understand. <laughs> Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. 
Looks like we have to change this up. Go. Robots. All right, you know what you have to do. Let's go. Where are you guys going? Oh, that all is done. Okay, let's go check on those while we set up our turrets here and they get Did we have red? We we must have. I don't want you the I don't want you guys to have these. They're too precious for you. Let's check on this mine over here. Hmm. Looks like we've mined out a lot of everything over here. And we had never actually finished this for whatever reason. Oh, whoops. That's my bad. Okay, we'll just leave that as is for now. Uh, we're, we're mining primarily coal, and that's really all we want out of this, as well as the stone. That's nice. And let's do a little bit of this while we're at it. I think that should be fine. Once this gets backed up, it'll continue going this way. And we're not even... Again, we're not really using this coal that's down here, so I think this is in our best interest here. It is interesting how it, uh, but oh, okay. I was concerned because I was like, I put so much coal into here and it's no longer filling up. And I was, I was like, what was going on? But what happened was I spam clicked it and then I picked them all up at the end and that's why. Okay. So I feel, feel a little bit better about that now. Okay. So this is good. Don't have to worry about uh, power anymore in terms of the, the coal supply be plenty. This will probably actually back up, but that's fine. What are we actually doing on power though? Still good. So awesome. We're, we're still taking the long way th through here, but we're getting stuff done slowly. Our heavy oil is back up which means that we're not mining, we're not using our oil. So I'm just going to add these here. Um, these probably won't be here full time. I'm going to start converting these into light oil once we have this science done. Who knows how long that will take though, but that's the idea at least. Let's get going here. So we're going to mine out this area. And then we're going to set up red science, green science, inserters, and belts. Um, and I guess assembly machines as well. We're not going to need a lot of them. Oh, geez. They're confused. And we're probably going to do two of each science max. I don't think we're going to do multiple. Normally on a, on a regular map, I probably do like six or seven. 
but I don't think that's uh, worth the space here at the moment. So I'm not going to do that. And you know, we can always find other places to put all, all the stuff that we need, or just add on to it, redo it. It's not the end of the world if we have to redo something. We've already redone a lot of things already, so... You know, I'm not averse to that, even though it is a little bit annoying. Where is my storage chest? I know I have one somewhere. I don't, I don't know if there's a better way to look for it. It should be around here, I think. I thought I put it down this way. But maybe not. I don't see it. Might be up here. I'll, I'll fix out those furnaces in a little bit. I don't see it up here either. Uh, oh, hmm, we're making belts. Okay, well that's that's a reason to f to stop this. <laughs> down. Okay, we were making these. We need steel and advanced circuits, so we need plastic. Go pick up a sack of plastic. We, we, we've had some this whole time. <laughs> so, uh, hmm, okay, well. I'll make a couple more. And I guess I'll make some... Do I need passive providers? Not really. Do I need anything else? Particularly, funny, that's acceptable to me. Okay, let's continue here. Do you know what I'm about now with this mining? We're just going to click drag a lot, put down a bunch of walls, and then we'll clean it up afterwards. But thank goodness for, for these bots. <laughs> I'm so glad I tried uh, doing this a little bit more after our completely failed attempt that first time. Otherwise, I've been manually di digging all this stuff. I mean, I spent a lot of spent a lot of time on these. Spent a lot of research. Spent a lot of supplies. Better be worth it. What level are we? Still level thirteen. Still waiting. Still awaiting our landfills. They'll come eventually. Actually want to get some pipes going. 
Um, this is going to help us later on for our engine making. It'll be good to use some of this iron that we're making. Uh, likewise, I mean, there's nothing I can really make out of copper that I haven't already made. We already have a lot of cables, but you know what? Might as well continue making them. Uh, we'll need them when we make mass make circuits in the future. Might as well get started now. Hey team, thanks for watching. If you're looking for more content, playlists are on your screen right now. And if you've enjoyed my videos, I'd really appreciate it if you could throw me a like, comment, or subscription. They'd help me out a ton. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.